Welcome to another video. Um, this is me in the morning. It's not really morning time. It's like 11-ish, but it's summertime. This is Selena in the morning. So today's video is going to be a summertime get ready with me, like real easy light makeup and like just barely doing anything with the hair. Hello, Hannah. So this is my bathroom. I already brushed my teeth. Um, I'm going to use a makeup wipe that I got at Big Lots to take off like just the oil and stuff from the nighttime. Sweat. Yeah. Mostly sweat because she sweats at night. Yeah. So we're just going to take off all of the, um, just the oils and the face creams and things that I put on last night. So in the summertime, I definitely do not do a lot of makeup because oh, not at all. I'm usually ending up in the pool by the end of the day or sweating by the end of the day or it's raining out. Um, it's supposed to rain today. I don't know. It doesn't look like that though. No, it looks very sunny out. It looks like super sunny, so I yeah. think it's going to be a pool today. Yeah. Pool today. Pool today. <laughs> Um, some eye cream and some face lotion. Is that your yes, sister? No. God bless you. So this is my eye cream. I just use Olay Eyes Retinol 24. And I make sure I use my eye cream all the time because I don't want wrinkles. And if I get wrinkles, which I will, It'll be fine. Be careful of that. That's on. And it's very hot. <laughs> I've got my curling wand plugged in because the curling wand is so super quick. It's also your daughter's. So super hot. Oh, yeah. It's Selena's, but we don't care about that. <sighs> Whatever's hers is mine. Um, it's really hot and it's really quick. So very that's quick. why I like to use it because it's just quick to use. I don't like taking a lot of time in the summer. So, um, I use the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. Um, I use it in the winter too because um, our skin always needs to be protected from the sun. No matter what time of the year it is. But in the summertime, especially, right? Mm -hmm. And I always use extra sunscreen when I go out, like in the pool. Oh, she uses Or if 20. I'm going to be out, so I will use. She uses 50% S. 50 yeah. SPF. 50 not 50%. SPF. 50, 50 SPF. SPF. Right. And now you'll see my face is all red because I'm touching it because I have rosacea. <laughs> so, that's fine. So, instead of doing like a full foundation, what I normally do <clears throat> is just go in with some concealer. It's not like bumpy, it's just like nice and mix, like it's about to break out. She has an appointment at 12.45 for telehealth visit. <laughs> Allergies. She broke out while we were in Florida. Her whole face. It was One terrible. big hive. Her whole face just turned into a big hive. And my cool. shoulders. Yeah. My my shoulders are still like scarred. Yeah. Oh, I can't get this open because now I have here. Mommy help. Now I have lotion Mom, on my hands. Give it to me. That's yours. That's mine. Yeah. And Santa gave this to me for Christmas. Okay, well can I use it please? Just so I can do my lips. The shadowing there. right here, it's from the, thank you. This is just Vaseline. It's gold dust Vaseline, it's not gold at all. No, not it's pink. Not. I'm taking this back. No, it's fine. Because I didn't know that you stole it. I, I didn't it. steal it, it's in the container from when we went to Florida. Oh. Just put something on your lips while you're doing your face. That way they're ready for like some kind of lip gloss when you're done. All right, Especially so if you're using lipstick. Yeah, I don't lipstick. use lipstick in the summer though. No. 
So I'm just using this clearly brighter Garnier Skin Active Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. I need a new one big time. Um, I just use it right in here to get rid of the dark circles. I didn't put so, on any makeup today. That's good. Because I love makeup. So I just kind of pat that. Just to blend it out. Because I don't, like I said, I don't use any kind of foundation. Like, see, I have major discoloration from the sun. And I'm okay with that. Because it's who I am. Um, so I use that. And then I'm going to go in with some face powder. God bless you, baby. Jeez. Where did my face powder go? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's in here. I wondered if I had a little thief. I still haven't completely unpacked anything on vacation. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my Master Fix by Maybelline. It just kind of mattifies things. You got your baby? Mm hmm what baby doll is that? It's Ella. And I'm just gonna kinda go mattify my face. Is that the colored stuff? No. No, this is the clear stuff. Do you need of the colored stuff to Selena? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. I don't need colored stuff because it just like it makes your face look old. It makes it look blotchy. Yeah. I don't like it. She's using a terrible brush. This dollar. is actually a newer one. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Does it feel better? It does feel a little bit better. See, so she had one that literally was wire. It's right there. It's, it's in there. It's in here? Mm -hmm. It's right here. Oh, it's in here. Yeah, it was from the Dollar Tree and it was really... It was a long time ago. They've probably updated their... Yeah, see, it's Oh, that's softer. nice. This one's wire and it... You can throw it away. It hurts when you literally touch it to your face. So that way everything's kind of mattified. <laughs> that was loud. Sorry. Sorry. So it just kind of mattifies your face and lets the rest of the makeup on go on smooth and just kind of makes everything blur. So then I will go in with some bronzer just to give my face some like shape. And some depth, I guess you could say. And then I will hit it with to hit it with this third color right here in this palette. This is the no idea. Magnify Eyes Crimson Edition by Rimmel. This is my favorite palette ever. Have you had that for like a no, long I, time? No, I like it though. And I always go into the third one here. And that's going to be like my all over color with this big, huge, fluffy brush. What is that from? This big, huge, fluffy brush. No. Don't. I know that's oh, from Dollar Tree. CBS. Oh, nice. Yep. See, you guys can get some pretty good stuff from just going to Dollar Tree and CBS. You can. Or any drugstore. Yeah. Drug, drug and you're just gonna yeah. fluffy brush it out. They don't actually sell those fluffy brushes anymore, I don't think. What is this elf? Oh no, this is Wet n Wild. Yeah. It was from the Dollar Tree. They still know. sell Wet n Wild, but so see, you kind of got like a little bit of color there, bit of not too much. And then being, you know, as classy as I am, I go in with my finger into this first one right here and just kind of go in right here to give it a little bit of shimmer. 
like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of fade up here so nothing is too harsh. Boom! And then I will go in and I will do my tight lining of my lower lid and my top lid, just tight lining now. Did I get it on my lid? No. So I'm just tight lining. I'm not going to put it on the actual lid because again, pool, sweating, things are going to run. You know so I'm just gonna tight line the inside of my lids and then I'm going to get my my eyelash curler and curl the heck out of them now, I know somebody said that you can heat up an eyelash curler, but I've never done that before, and I have a piece of foam on mine, so I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want to melt the foam. So I'm just going back, trying to the eyelashes from the base all the way out to the tips and I'll tell you because I'm not using mascara today because again I just don't want it now Selena bought a waterproof mascara that was pretty good I've never used a waterproof mascara so I'm not gonna go in with mascara I tell you what my trick is though you can take an oil any kind of oil you want. I have castor oil here because I use it for my hair to make my hair grow like right in here before I take a shower sometimes I'll put it on and you can just hit your lashes with an oil or a Vaseline and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Look at my masterpiece. She makes the best coffee drinks ever. So I'm going to go in and see if you can see it. That's her coffee drink that she just made. Look at the other Yummy. side. I know, I see it. It's half and half. Yeah. Twinkling. One little. One little. All right, out you go. All right, yeah. so this is the eye that I just put castor oil on. I don't know if you can see, like, the eyelashes are, like, real full. And you can see them because of the oil on the ends of them. And this one you can't really see. So I'm gonna go in and put castor oil on those. So that's just my little trick. I don't know if you think it works or not. I have no idea. Um, I just do it because I feel like it works. It makes a difference for me. And I just kind of put it on the ends so it makes them stand out. So there you go. And then I will put some eyebrows on. Can't go anywhere without eyebrows because quite frankly, as you can see, they stop halfway. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyebrows on. Oh, I need a new eyebrow pen. So um this doesn't really take too much time for me because I'm not good at it. Like, I know some people are like, they shape their eyebrows, and it's so beautiful, and mine are not shaped properly, and they don't look the same, and they're not beautiful. So, it doesn't really matter what they look like. Alright, we're going to put some lip gloss on, and we're going to call it done. There we go. Pink. 
And then we're going to throw some curls in this hair and we're going to be done. So this is a very simple uh, pull yourself together. Look at that mess. Um, yeah, this is a very simple pull yourself together quickly. Summer morning routine. Or summer morning get ready with me. I don't know what it's called. Watch this. See, this is curly hair. And this is what happens when you put a brush through curly hair. So the way I like to do my <clears throat> curling wand or Selena's curling wand, whatever you want to call it, is I divide my hair in half and I just do a half at a time because I have a lot of hair. So I'll do the bottom half, split it, take this. Angle it down and go around. Try not to hold it for too long and I try not to touch the curling wand because it's like five million degrees. So for each section of hair, I hold it for about 10 seconds, and I try not to get too big of a section of hair, but I don't want too little of a section either, or it turns out like tight curly cues, and that's not what I'm going for. I'm kind of going for like beach waves. So anyway, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do my whole head, which is totally reasonable to me if I'm doing you know, like a look that I know is going to get trashed by the end of the day because of the pool and sweating and all that. So I don't mind spending 10 or 15 minutes on my hair. I know it looks super curly right now but by the time I put all of the product in it and it it'll kind of lose that some of that curl during the day and by the time I put it up in the bobby pins and everything it won't look as curly so 
some of this goes down, trust me. So tell me who here has a love-hate relationship with bobby pins. Look at my face. I'm completely perplexed. So I love using bobby pins because I can get like that big old poof going on. But at the same time, have you guys seen how many bobby puts I put in? Um, I think I usually use anywhere from like 10 to 15 bobby pins just to give myself a poof. So am I using them right? I don't know. Do you use them right? Do you really know for sure if you're using them right? So that's just my question. Okay guys, I'm going to throw some of this Sleek and Shine by Garnier Fructis into this wild hair. It's going to calm it down a little bit. It's going to make my curls kind of all come together so they don't look like just a whole bunch of spiral curls. You'll see me twisting them around my finger. I like to do that because then it makes it look like just I kind of have like a beach wave, like a one curl instead of a whole bunch of spiral curls. And then I'm going to throw some hairspray into the poof on the top of my head and call it done. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I like to give some ideas on how to do a summer look because I'm not all about that makeup in the summer. I'm not about having 18,000 products on my face um, because sweat and heat and pools and um yeah, so I hope that you guys got some tips today on how to have a little bit of makeup on your face but not overdo it too much. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.